Hello, guten Morgen everyone. It's time for trash talk again. Time is just going, right? I, I feel like I just did this uh, not too long ago, like a day or so ago, and um, I am feeling better, by the way, than I was uh, last Sunday. Um, but still early in the morning, I'm just not as tired. <laughs> and uh, I am going to the flea market. And then usually on the fourth Sunday, we go to Torrance. Um, and we have breakfast. We have our usual breakfast there. Um, but this Sunday we are going to another one. Uh, it's not that far. It's just in another direction. Um, in Tustin. And the reason we don't usually visit that one is because it's very, very small. It's like one uh, parking lot, little, little parking lot uh, size. Like, so you're done in like probably maybe 20, 30 minutes just browsing through there. Um, but we just decided to go this Sunday just to uh, do something different. And uh, there's a, a thrift store across the street that we also hit uh, once we're done with that flea market. So it's um, so a little different. It's a nice little area. Um, and there's usually some wild parrots that are there uh, in the trees. Um, but we'll see. Yeah. So that's what, what's, that's what today's game plan for the flea market is. Um, so we are doing trash talk, Brenda. So let's get back to that. Let's see. We are in week 43, I believe. Yes. So 43, which, um, is that, is that the next signature? Yeah. Okay. So technically, since this is the divide to the next signature, oh, which is the last signature. We're almost done with the year, you guys. Look at this. And I'm ahead. You know what I mean? So this says this says 39. So this should have been week 39. Uh, but because of doing just one page instead of two and doing some tip-ins and all that kind of stuff, I've managed to be ahead. So now I'm on 43. And you know what? I have quite a bit of... I could do another tip-in, actually. Or I can do, I have this one piece that I can just put it, put it, glue it here and do like a flip. And then I can do 44 here and not, uh, not split the page, even though it wouldn't matter anyway. That's not a big deal, um, but we'll see. All right, so let's just say this is week 43. And let's get into the trash. Okay, that away, just right down here. Oh. Sorry, from one of the background things. That's like my favorite stencil. Okay, so trash, we have my usual receipts. Did eat, eat at Holy Moly this week, besides um, hubby cooking the rest of the days. So we did have that. And actually, I should have, I gotta find it. My Lazy Acres, we went yesterday to Lazy Acres, uh, which was Saturday, and got some. Uh, food so that'll have to be added to my receipts all right it's probably still in the bag somewhere hopefully i didn't throw it away okay and let's go to the regular trash all right so this is the two types of garlic my brother had shipped over to me um so I actually planted them finally on Wednesday. So when I'm done introducing all the trash and talking about all the trash, uh, in between that and me showing you the page, there's going to be a little clip of me planting the garlic. Um, for those maybe that are interested in how to plant garlic, because you can, anyone can do this um, at home. Okay, so these are the two types of garlic. So I plant, finally planted them on Wednesday. Um, I'm going to save that puppy. I ordered uh, some stamps, um, and this is one of the uh, cards, you know, the stamp was in there, so I can't remember which stamp was in here, though. I'll have to look, and I'll stamp it on there just so I remember which one that was, because most of the stamps, they don't really, I mean, they're kind of cheapy, so they just came in a bag with nothing, uh, but this one actually had uh, the, the packaging. Um, went through a bag of uh, mini avocados. Um, I probably eat maybe a half of an avocado every day. Um, 
good for my blood pressure and stuff. But uh, I try not to eat too much because it is also, even though it's a good fat, it's fattening. Um, but yeah, so there's that. Um, this was on my porch. And I just liked it because of the, the black and white graphics. So I may use that and I may not. Alright, this is part of my garlic processing or planting thing. Um, this is uh, what I mended uh, the soil with. Um, so I used part of my existing uh, soil in the yard. Um, and then I also added some of this to it. Um, it's my first time using this, so I don't know. Hopefully it helps. And I'll explain that in the garlic video. Um, and then on this receipt, you'll see I went to World Market on Monday and I stocked up on all of my favorite holiday cookies and candy, which is mostly this um, mozzapan with uh, chocolate. And also, this one I got from my lab techs. Um, I made like a little, uh, I brought them in some and I gave them each half of the candies. And they were these little wrappers. I actually ate one too. Um, so this is part of this, and this is the other. This is actually the same thing as this, but just small little bites like that. Um, but I just saved the packaging. Uh, and some cookies. Uh, I got, like, they're like gingerbread, um, but you'll see that bag next week in Trash Talk because I'm working on it right now, and I'm almost done. I have a few more cookies left, and I actually have a few more pieces of chocolate over there by the couch. Too. So I didn't eat the whole thing in one week. I'm, I'm going between cookie, couple cookies one night, a couple pieces of chocolate the next night like that. And these mostly gate went to my lab techs. Um, so yeah, but, ugh, okay. The reason I want to show you, because this will not make it into the trash journal. Um, this, not only do I love this chocolate, um, but I love the packaging. Because look how thick it is. This is not your ordinary, regular size chocolate package. Right, that's a pretty big, thick, as you can see, that's a thick chocolate bar. And what I do with these, um, which I just started like last year, um, is I make like, let's well, see, so you can see the red peeking through. This is, this is this. So this one, you open it up and there's a little journal inside. See that? Isn't that cool? And this one I was using for notes on, oh, like making lists of just lists, to-do lists, and people, like when I, when I ship Happy Mail, what I'm going to ship, stuff like that. Um, so that's what this is. This is like a to-do to -do list. Got a little bent. And then everyone else is familiar with this one. And this is also this, but I... Uh, I had to extend it. See how thicker it is? And all I did was um, I, I took it apart and then just raised this up a little bit. And raised this up and then folded it, you know, folded it where where I had a little bit. And I had to cut it on that end. Um, well, I just cut the, the top off and then extended it more like that. So, yeah, isn't that neat? I'll show you this one in case. I mean, I know I'm pretty sure everyone's seen this one because this is the one I've been doing the Scrappy 8 challenges with. So then this one is just the, is just used as the cover and then the journal is inside like that. But so you can see how, how I had to uh, change it to make it bigger. Cool, right but yeah that's why I love so not only is it my favorite chocolate but it's like my favorite packaging um, also so I just wanted to share that with you it's at uh, world market it's where I get it um, they also have an orange flavor they have milk chocolate but I like dark chocolate uh, and one candy bar is probably about I want to say five or six dollars Uh, but it's worth it to me. Alright. So that is my trash, guys.
That is my trash. These two, I'm not sure. I, well, I know this one for sure is not going to go in the trash journal. This one may. I used this actually last year, and if I remember, when they had the um, spaghetti window, spaghetti box window or something like that, and I used this instead because it does have a nice little window there. Um, so, not sure if I'll use this in the trash journal or not. All right. And then, let's see, anything else? Oh, yeah, the garlic. So, I think, pretty sure, Hansi got a hold of one of the clothes, which is unlike him because he usually doesn't eat anything outside of what I give him. Um, if I'm not, you know, he doesn't just eat stuff, you know what I mean, like laying around. Um, that I know of, actually, now that I think about it. Um, but I think he got a hold of one of the clothes, even though when I was planting it, I was there. And everything was accounted for. I did have to step away for a minute to go in the house and grab another uh, garlic bulb. And um, But when I came out, I mean, all the clothes I had lined up to, to plant, they were still there. Um, so I'm not sure what he ate, but I... I have a feeling he ate something. There must have been one that got away or something because he was very lethargic a couple days later, uh, like Friday, Thursday night, I would even say. Thursday night, he was very lethargic as far as he wouldn't come out of his room. Um, when I came outside to feed him, he would just lay in his bed, <clears throat> which is unlike him because usually he comes out and lays over and he wants me to rub his belly. And I thought, well, you know, he must be just tired or kind of sick or something, you know. And then he didn't eat. So the next day, Friday, when I went to walk him, he wouldn't really even walk. He was very uh, slow. Like he wanted to go on the walk, but he walked like very slow. Usually he's a prancy, want to go. And, you know, so we only walked like two houses down and then came back. Um, and that's when I knew something was wrong. I'm like, uh, you must have gotten into something. Not sure what yet, but um, I didn't think of the garlic yet. Um, and then um, while I was at work, I I thought about it. I'm like, oh, he might have gotten into the garlic. So I ordered some charcoal, some activated charcoal, and I gave that to him. And last night he actually ate because he wasn't eating since Thursday. Um, so I gave him the charcoal, and then he still was kind of, you know, not eating. But energy-wise, he was already starting to come to me and walk around and stuff like that. And then last night he finally ate his dinner, <coughs> which I didn't give him much. I just gave him a little bit of uh, chicken with uh, some of his canned uh, dog food. Um, yeah, so I haven't gone out there to check on him. He's a, he's a backyard dog. He I bring him in when the weather is bad or when there's fireworks and all that kind of stuff, but he likes it. If he's in the house for too long, he goes to the back door because he wants to go back outside. So, um, But yeah, so I'm going to go check on him in a little while and see how he's doing this morning. Um, but he has been improving since uh, Thursday night, so that's a good sign. But uh, yeah, so that was my little scare this week with him because he was really, uh, it was very not like him, but I'm pretty sure it has to be the garlic because garlic is toxic to dogs. Now, fresh garlic, they say you can give to dogs in, in you know, like teaspoon in their food um, to help ward off like uh, fleas and stuff like that. Um, but like garlic on pizza or garlic powder or garlic seasonings, you know, that kind of thing is not good at all for dogs. So this was fresh. So that may be why he didn't get too bad, but he probably ate more, definitely more than a teaspoon. He must have got one of the, the cloves because I had already had them all kind of separated. But yeah, so he's okay though. Thank goodness. I was, I was uh, having a fit. Excuse me. Um, but yeah, so now I'm going to put this. Well, I'm going to get ready to go to the flea market. I'm going to put this together. And then while you wait for me to put this together, I'll show you the video of how to plant some garlic. All right. So hold tight. It's intermission time. Okay. Well, I've started to plant my garlic. Uh, my brother sent me these um, two different variations. And I will. Uh, Text, I mean, I'll put what they are because I can't remember the names. One's Transylvania, I think this one, and I can't remember what this one is called. Um, this one, although it was smaller, the uh, 
what do you call it, the bulbs seem to be bigger, a little bit bigger for such a small size. And then these seem like there was more bulbs in there. So what I did was, what you do is you just peel the whole thing apart and get your, uh, separate your bulbs off of it. And then you just stick them in the ground. So here, you see, I just stick them in. You stick them in uh, with the root side going down. So this is where the roots are on the bottom. It's like that. And that's exactly how you're going to put them in the ground. You just stick them down, leave maybe like an inch to the top, and then you can cover it up. So I already did that with all these. And you leave uh, enough room in between for, imagine the bulb growing, if it were to get that big. So you need to space them out enough. So probably about four, three, four to five inches in between each bulb. So I've already put some in. Um, so I need to cover them up. Oh, there we are. And I'll put those over on the other side. I'll put those in. But right now I'm just going to... Now last time I planted in a... Uh, garden bed instead of in the ground. Uh, I got duds. They, they didn't really grow very well. Um, so I don't know if these are going to do well. Sorry, plain. <laughs> uh, so I don't know how these are going to do. I, I did. My brother told me to make sure to pack it, kind of not to have the soil too loose. So, um, so that's what I did this time. All right, so on that side, and then some of these I accidentally, uh, when I was taking them out, like this one, they kind of got cleaned off pretty good. So I think I won't plant this one because my brother said to keep the, the peel on there, the skin, uh, as a protective covering. So this one might, might be too clean. So we'll just take that in the house and eat that later. Um, but the rest uh, seem to be okay. This, has a little bit, but that one looks kind of clean. That looks kind of clean. These little ones I'll just take out. <sighs> All right, so I'm just going to um, start putting in these. I need to peel that. But all I do is I just take it, that's the root side, and I just kind of press it down in there like that. So you can kind of still see it, but you can cover it up with the dirt. So the root side down, like that. Very easy. Now, planting in right before fall, right in the fall, and then uh, I'll water it and maintain it until about June of next year. And uh, my brother says to when the the leaves, the grassy part, the leaves that come up, they're not really leaves, they're kind of like grass um, that comes up when it starts getting brown on the tips and stuff, then you can stop stop watering it and just let it kind of grow dry for the next two weeks. So I'll be doing that too, but I'll take you guys along and hopefully we have something to show for it in the end, not duds like last time. But uh, this year I got a new garden bed. See, last time I did it in this thing, this little round thing but this time I have this um, and the soil I took soil out of my yard and I also um, amended it with some uh, coconut uh, I, I, I'll, I'll share the name of that stuff too I can't remember at the top of my head but some coconut stuff it's the out, outer shell of the coconut um, and hopefully that helps and I did pack it kind of like the ground so it is a little tight when I'm putting it in there I can feel that it's kind of tight not as tight as the ground, but hopefully enough. So I'm going to finish planting these um, and then water it. And then uh, as, as it grows, I'll let you guys know. But that's it. Yeah, you just stick them in the ground a couple inches and then cover them up. Make sure you root side down um, and separate them enough to where you can have two growing next to each other, two bulbs, enough room. All right, I'll be back in a little bit. All right, so it doesn't look like much because uh, they're all covered up. 
but this is going to be my garlic garden, hopefully. Um, as soon as it starts sprouting and the green leaves, as we'll call it, start coming up, uh, I'll take a picture and I'll add it to uh, Trash Talk. Um, so now, since I'm already out here sweating, um, I was going to videotape this thing, but I don't need this. Um, I'm going to put these little fruit tree spikes for fertilizer for my uh, loquat tree. Now my loquat tree I've had for, what, four, four years? And that's this one in the middle here. Um, I grew that from a seed that a friend sent me. And uh, yeah, and it's already been trimmed and everything. Uh, on the top and on the sides, uh, but again, I'll have to do it again. But this is the first year that it started flowering. Um, flowers aren't much to look at, but they're kind of ugly, but those are them. So that's a good sign though, right? And that means I might get some fruit. So I decided to uh, put some of this uh, fertilizer down. I watered the grass this morning to get it kind of saturated around the drip line of the tree uh, and I'll put some in it says like for every inch diameter of the trunk that's how many you use so I'm guessing I need about uh six going around going around this tree so I'm just going to hammer them in around the drip line and sorry <laughs> See, whenever I'm making my videos, that's that's what I have to deal with. Okay, but yeah, so I'm going to do that now, but I'm not going to record that. Um, so this will be the end of uh, this video. All right, see y'all inside. Hello, I'm back. Um, so the flea market, like I said, was pretty small, so I didn't really get much there. Um, just a few buttons that you can see over here. And I'm going to take the back off and distress them a little bit and just stick them up with magnets around for decoration. Um, but let's get into the trash. Um, I hope you enjoyed the garlic planting video. And if you guys decide to plant some garlic, let me know. It would be a fun thing for us to venture on together. Um, so here we are, week 43, which I already had the number here, but I'm thinking I might still add it on here somewhere else. Um, not sure yet. Uh, so I ended up doing both sides. Uh, I took the chocolate box, is what I used, and that is actually a tuck. It's just taped down here and here, and it's holding this, which is, remember, from the, uh, oops, from the stamp, um, stamps that I bought. This was the uh, stamps. Of course, it got kind of messed up, but it looks good. Um, it got messed up because this was a shiny, glossy piece and I didn't realize it when I stamped it with the blue it was really blurry so I just kind of let it dry as much much as it possibly could and then wiped it dabbed it and then that created all of this uh stuff back here and then you know as you see it's not very detailed with the blue so I just wiped it and then I put uh, some clear gesso over it so it has kind of like a rough matte texture now and then I stamped it again with black but I didn't do a full stamp, like I just did like partial stamp. And so it kind of gave it a little bit more detail, um, but then again, missing some areas. Um, but it's very distressed. I, I like the look of that. So I'm using this. I was originally going to use it as a journal card, um, which it is going to be journal, but it's going to journal over my selfie that I had taken with Hansi when he wasn't feeling very well. Um, he is. I just checked on him again when I got home, and he is feeling uh, a lot better. He's begging at the door for ch more chicken. So, um, but yeah, that's my poor baby. Oh, so I'm gonna write here what happened with uh, Hansi. So he gets his own journal card this week. Um, this is the coconut uh, stuff that I added to the soil. I ended up cutting it and just kind of taping it down as a pocket. Um, for these so these are going to become my journal cards i'm just going to get like a i think white cardstock just to make them a little bit stiffer 
but not too stiff because they have to fold in here because they're right in the middle. Um, but I'll journal the trash and uh, the week on these. I might, might just leave them as they are and just journal on the back too. That'll always work. This is part of the coconut um, packaging. And I just liked that it said back to the roots on it. Um, here's my uh, avocados and my uh, receipts are tucked behind here. And then I made this little band to kind of hold them all in one spot from the side of this box. So it was the side of this. I cut it off and then just wrapped around and taped it. Um, so those just get tucked in there. And I believe that was it. I really didn't have a lot of uh, trash this week. Just my uh, garlic stuff that I did. And then s the sweets, which I have here. Um, and that's it, pretty much. So that's my week. Oh, and then I still need to insert. I remember I bought a lamp last flea market. And I told you guys I would show you what it looks. So I'll insert a picture now. So this is my lamp. And I'm still going to figure out what to do with it. Because I'm not sure if I'm going to alter it to uh, take the place of this mounted uh, thing I have right here that my phone is on because the shape is almost the same. Um, so I might do that. I just got to figure it out uh, because I don't really need this light that's here. Uh, I mean, I could use, I, it's a good light, but I don't really need it. So um, we'll see. But that's another work in progress. Um, and other than that, I think that's it. So thanks for joining me on this Trash Talk adventure for week 43. Now I'm just going to journal. But this is what the page looks like. Pretty colorful. Closes up still pretty good. Hold on. The plane, the plane. All right. Um, but yeah, so it still closes pretty good. Even though I have it kind of like in the, uh, oops, where's it at? In the, uh, spine here this piece right here but i didn't glue it down there just on these sides but that's it i hope you guys have a great productive week ahead of you um i know i need to work on some i want to do the junk journal box and something for the asylum journal since uh that's, that's way past due um i'm just trying to think of what what's worthy you know what i mean and then these backgrounds are just throwing me off but i like them i like the background uh videos so anyway you guys have a great Sunday. Thanks for joining me as always. I love you guys. And we'll talk again on the next video. All right. Cheers.